Let Wisdom Speak, a 31-day Bible reading through the book of Proverbs. Well, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm Bishop Donald Oliver, and thank you for joining me for another evening of Let Wisdom Speak. It is our daily evening reading through the book of Proverbs during the month of January, one chapter each day corresponding to the date, today being the 20th of January, so we will read through Proverbs chapter 20. Let's hear what wisdom has to say to us this evening. Wine is a mocker, strong drink is a raging. And whosoever is deceived thereby is not wise. The fear of a king is as a roaring of a lion. Whoso provoketh him to anger sinneth against his own soul. It is an honor for a man to cease from strife, but every fool will be meddling. The sluggard will not plow by reason of the cold. Therefore shall he beg in harvest and have nothing. Counsel in the heart of man is like deep water, but a man of understanding will draw it out. Most men will proclaim everyone his own goodness, but a faithful man who can find the just man walketh in his integrity. His children are blessed after him. A king that sitteth in the throne of judgment scattereth away all evil with his eyes. Who can say, I have made my heart clean, I am pure from my sin? Divers weights and divers measures, both of them are alike abomination to the Lord. Even a child is known by his doings, whether his work be pure and whether it be right. The hearing ear and the seeing eye, the Lord hath made even both of them. Love not sleep, lest thou come to poverty. Open thine eyes, and thou shalt be satisfied with bread. It is not, it is not, saith the buyer. But when he is gone his way, then he boasted. There is gold and a multitude of rubies, but the lips of knowledge are a precious jewel. Take his garment, that is surety for a stranger, and take a pledge of him for a strange woman. Bread of deceit is sweet to a man, but afterwards his mouth shall be filled with gravel. Every purpose is established by counsel, and with good advice make war. He that goeth about as a tale-bearer revealeth secrets. Therefore, meddle not with him that flattereth with his lips. Whoso curses his father or mother, his lamp shall be put out in obscure darkness. An inheritance may be gotten hastily at the beginning, but the end thereof shall not 
be blessed. Say not thou, I will recompense evil, but wait on the Lord, and he shall save thee. Divers' weights are an abomination unto the Lord, and a false balance is not good. Man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? It is a snare to the man who devoureth that which is holy, and after vows to make inquiry. A wise king scattereth the wicked, and bringeth the wheel over him. The spirit of a man is the candle of the Lord, searching all the inward parts of the belly. Mercy and truth preserve the king, and his throne is upholding by mercy. The glory of young men is their strength, and the beauty of old men is the gray head. The blueness of a womb cleanseth away evil, so do stripes the inward parts of the belly. We have read tonight Proverbs chapter 20 verses 1 through 30. May the Lord add a, ble a, a blessing to the reading as well as the hearing of his word tonight. Amen. I invite you to join me this being Thursday at 7 p.m. for Bible study and prayer. If you're in the group, make sure that you share, like, and invite others to join us 7 p.m. sharp. So that's in a f about 20 minutes or so. We're going to be coming back live right here and across our other platforms. You can join us for a time of Bible study in prayer, as well as Sundays at 1.15. Join me for worship, prayer, and the ministry of the word. But each evening during this month of January, you can find us at 6.30 as we read through the book of Proverbs and allow wisdom to speak. <laughs>